So we've seen in this section how we can talk about inter infinite unions and intersections of closed and open sets in Rn. And for example, we, we proved that infinite unions of open sets are open and infinite intersections of closed sets are closed. And we kind of skirted over the idea of what happens when you take infinite unions of closed sets or infinite intersections of open sets. And right now we want to give an example, or I guess it would be a counterexample, of when you can find an infinite union of closed sets that is not closed. And well, that's the problem at hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to define our open sets, or sorry, closed sets. Define these intervals i sub n for. And so these are all obviously closed. They're closed intervals in Rn, or where n equals 1 for this matter. And their union for n greater than 1 is this half open interval 0 to 1. Because, well, after some work when you're going through, you can show that given any epsilon positive, there is some natural number, say, big N, such that 1 over n is less than epsilon. So basically what this shows is that you can take any real number close enough to 0, and there's some natural number such that its reciprocal is less than that epsilon. And basically that shows that given that epsilon would have to lie in one of these intervals for some big n. But however, 0 is never going to be in this interval for any of these intervals. So we can only have the half open interval which is not closed.